Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Unity. Today we are going to see how to make a character jump. Now there are two ways to make a character jump in Unity. One is using physics and the other is using animation. We'll be seeing both the methods in this tutorial. We'll start with the physics and we'll go with the animation. So let's go ahead and add a character to the scene. It will be a capsule. So now we need a ground, so a 3D object plane. Now let's move the ground a little down. Okay. Uh, make sure there's a small gap between the character and the ground. The reason is if your colliders are already colliding and a rigid body is attached, and when the game starts, the rigid body will go through the other collider, which we do not want. We want the character to be on the ground. So if there is a small space, then when the game starts, the character will fall on the ground and it will rest there. So let's go ahead and add a rigid body to our capsule. So there's a rigid body and I'm going to use the default values. Uh, we don't need to add anything to the plane because a mesh collider is already added to it. In the capsule, we'll add a script which will make the character jump when the space bar is pressed. It will also check if the character is on the ground and if it is not on the ground, then the space bar won't make the character jump. So let's call it character jump. Okay. Now let's open the script in Visual Studio for editing. First, let's create a public variable uh, which will be of type float and this will be our jump force. Let's set it to 10 as of now. The reason I'm making it public is so that I'll be able to edit it from the editor. You can also set it a serialized field. So that also does the same thing. Now I'm going to need another public game object and that will be my ground. Okay. And once that is done, then we need a float, which will be the offset. This offset is required to see if the player is on the ground or not. Then we are going to need a rigid body RP. So let's go to the start function. RP is equal to get component rigid body. And then let's set the offset offset will be equal to transform dot position dot y minus ground dot transform dot position minus y and this is the difference between my height of my character and height of the ground so i'll add a dead band of one okay i guess dot y so adding a bracket will clear it off so we are getting the difference and then adding a dead band of one so you can adjust the dead band so to decide at what height you, you can allow the player to jump again so in the update first let's check if the transform dot position dot y minus ground dot transform dot position dot y is less than our offset and if that's true then we are going to check if input dot get button down and we are going to call the button jump uh, these are pre-configured buttons so you can just say jump that means spacebar if you don't know what button name you have to give, you can go to edit project settings and input manager. Inside that you'll have access and inside that you'll see the button name here. So it's jump here. So you have to give the exact name and this is also case sensitive. So if it is J in caps, there also you have to give J in caps. So if that is true, then we are going to say RP dot add force and the direction is going to be vector 3 dot up there's up there's up then we are going to multiply the direction with our jump force and then we are 
I'm going to give the force mode as impulse. So that's it, our script is ready. Let's go back to Unity. Now if we play the game and press the spacebar, the character doesn't jump because we have not assigned the ground variable. So let's stop the game and in the character jump script there is a ground variable so let's drag the plane and assign it now let's go ahead and play the game uh, let's hit the spacebar and the character jumps the height of jump can be controlled in two ways one is used uh, one is by reducing and increasing the jump force and the next is by reducing and increasing the mass of the player so higher the mass the more force you require to make to make the player jump so this is how you can make the uh, player jump using physics so next we'll see how to do the same thing with the animation so we don't require the rigid body we'll remove that we'll edit the character jump script uh, after some time first let's create the animation for it now you require two animation state one is when the player is not jumping and the other is when the player is jumping so when the player is not jumping we don't want to do anything and if you have an idle animation already then you can put that here so i don't have an anime idle animation so i'm going to create a new idle animation so if you don't know how to open the animation window just go to window animation animation and once the animation window is open select your character and then click on create so first I'm going to create an idle animation. I'm going to call it rest. So I'm not going to do anything here. So it's going to be an empty animation. Then I'm going to create a new clip called jump. Let's player jump. And in the player jump animation, let's hit the record button. And let's decide the player the player will be here at the zero frame and at the 30th frame the player will come here and at 60 let's just copy this and paste it here so now if we play the animation so you can see the animation is not smooth so you can add in more keyframes here and make the animation smooth and look realistic so now we have two animations let's open the animator so animation animator so rest is my default animation so when the game starts it will go to the rest animation basically do nothing and we are going to use the code to make the player jump animation play and once it plays after after the animation has played it should make the transition to rest so the transition will be based on exit time that means when the animation is over it will go to the next state so now everything is set let's go back to our script in the script we don't require a rigid body but we do require an animator and let's call it anim and similarly you have to get the anim component which will be get component animator so rest of the script will remain same and in place of adding the force we'll be just playing the animation so it will be nm dot play and inside the bracket you just have to give the animation state which is player jump so that's it let's go back to unity now in our game window let's keep the animator window here so that we'll be able to see what is happening so if i start the game you can see that the rest animation is playing continuously then if we press the space bar the player jump animation plays and it goes back to the rest animation so that's it you have made the player jump using animation and physics so if you have any other questions, you can leave that in the comment box below. And this code samples are available on the blog post in Vinyx Studio. The link is available in the description. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. 
don't forget to like subscribe and share